So I wanted to make this video because I am the type of person who hates, hates shaving. And as you can see by my arm, can you see that? I'm a very hairy human being. Thank you, Father. If I shave, my hair goes back in no time. So I've been using Nairis since about, let's say, middle school, high school, and I use it. And back then, it never used to work really good for me. Like when I sh um, put Nair on my legs, the hair that was supposed to be removed, it just turned white. Hell, I took a long break from Nair, and I started back. I started using Nair again last year, like the end of last year, and. <laughs> This video is specifically for down there. So usually I would shave. I would shave or I would trim. I'm I know waxing would be the best option for me, but for right now. But for right now, um I can't really endure that type of pain. So Nair is my best option right now. And I'm gonna show you three different um, types of Nair that I use and which one works the best for me down there. <laughs> All of the warnings, it tells you not to use Nair. Let's start off with this one, the sensitive formula. So they say the sensitive formula is power shower and it this one is, okay, so this one it says you can use on your arm, your underarm, your leg, and your bikini area. And this one is supposed to be sensitive for your skin. Let me tell you guys, well, I use this on my armpit because you know it's supposed to be sensitive. Usually I shave my armpit like every other day. So I'm very lazy when it comes to shaving so I tried to use this on my armpit because it says sensitive right I didn't even leave this on for more than three minutes and when I tell you when I went to go after I removed it I felt this burning sensation under my armpit and when I look like it was gone and you can see my flesh I was literally walking like this for a while this says sensitive but everyone's skin is different so Test this out on a small area before you go ahead and use it on sensitive areas. Okay, so um, I use this on my bikini area before and I have very thick hair down there, <laughs> TMI. Um, so I use this on my bikini area. I left it for over 3 minutes but less than 10 minutes. You're never supposed to exceed 10 minutes. So I use it for between 3 and 10 minutes. I don't remember the exact time. But when I went to remove the hair from my bikini area, nothing came off. I can count the amount of strands of hair that came off when I used this on my bikini area. The bottle, I've had this since like the beginning of this year and it's right here. It's right here because it's not strong enough for me to use down there. And if it's not strong for right there, it's not going to be strong enough for my legs or anything. So that does really work for me. One day I decided that I wanted to be baby smooth. I wanted my down there to feel like a baby. But, but guess what? I did not want to shave. So I decided that I'm going to use a stronger formula. I was going to use this one right here. Okay. Because I was like, if that is too weak for me, maybe I should go up a little notch so guys this is where the little demonstration comes in I drew this for you guys and I labeled so you know exactly so the parts where I put the red is inside the lips and that's where you're not supposed to use the nair at all so outside of the lips this is the lips right here so right here 
and this is the bikini area so right here is the safe area and you can use it on the lips but do not go inside because i'm telling you it will burn the heck out of you <laughs> okay so so right above the perineum perineum area that area is very sensitive for me and i went ahead and just lathered the nair all right here but i didn't go in the red area and never use it back here never don't do that <laughs> yes don't use it back here so anyways i'm gonna just draw where i use it i'm just gonna use the green so i use it all of right here that and i went right here and right here i did all that went about here you know okay <laughs> so that's where i used it and i left it on for about five minutes max and then i went to remove it in the shower guys i felt the worst burning of my life and when i got out of the shower and i looked i took the mirror i legit took the mirror and was like and i looked like when i looked in the mirror right above the perineum area like right here the skin was basically gone so all i could see was red so that formula is safe for me to use around the bikini area and on top of the lips but never inside but it's safe to use on those areas but around the perineum area I wouldn't suggest anyone to use it right there because I felt the worst burning of my life y'all the worst burning of my life every time I peed and I had to wipe <sighs> let me just say I wouldn't want my worst enemy to feel that kind of pain you know and on the top it's safe to use around there you just smack it on there and you never rub it in you never rub it in so yeah these parts are safe to use but but close to the perineum area i wouldn't suggest anyone to use it around there that is my experience with this i use this one on my legs or wherever else I want to use it. I never use nair on my underarm ever again. I will stick to shaving my underarm. Next one that I purchased. I recently purchased this. I got this last week. And I bought this because I was watching a video by Raven Elise. And she brought this up. And I was like, whoa. And I was so shocked. I did not know they had nair in the spray kind. So... I was about to spray it on me and show you guys but no so when you spray it on it kind of turns into a foam so this is also safe to use on your arms your underarm leg and bikini area again I'm only using it on my leg and bikini area the only thing I would say is a con about this you can't really control where like where some of the um, product is going so whenever you're using this, here's a little tip. You see the part that is red that I wouldn't tell you to use it on. So let's take some toilet paper. So you would take a toilet paper, a, a um, rag, napkin, whatever you feel safe using right there. So you would take it and you would just put it between the lips, right? You just put it between the lips. Make sure it's covering all of that area that is red. So you just put it in between the lips so whenever you're spraying it nothing kind of goes where it's not supposed to go so when you cover in the middle you just shake it and you, shh, you just spray all around and for me my experience with that it was amazing it got rid of all that hair that I wanted to get rid of I can't really say anything bad about that except for the fact that it goes where it's not supposed to go but you can get around that by covering up the areas where you don't want it to go so and this is the easiest thing to use like you literally just spray and it doesn't smell as bad as the regular nares it does not smell as bad as those right after you use it make sure you always wash the cap and 
the little hole where it sprays out of because you don't want it to build up over time. That's just nasty. And another tip, if you want to just be completely bald down there or close to being bald, um, the areas where you cannot get like inside the lips, take a small clean scissors and just trim. And I promise you look like you're a newborn. I promise you, you do not have to go in and just um, set yourself up for failure. Take my foolish advice and learn from my mistakes. Do not put it inside the lips. Do not, do not, do not. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and if you like videos like these, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Okay, anyways, until next time guys, bye!